hello guys so in this video we'll be using strapi so this is just uh, like an open source cms so we'll be using this to develop a simple post app and uh, we'll just check how to use curl and uh, get data from it so yeah so like for this i'm not just gonna use this the next uh, i'm sorry the npx command i'm gonna use the docker version of it so let us make their self host strappy and cd into the self host strappy and i'll open this in vs code and uh, yeah so the important part is like we using the docker compose so I'll use a compose.yaml so yeah so let us first give a version I'll give a version of 3 and services so inside the services like I'll just give it as strappy and uh, let us first pull the image so image is going to be okay so it is it is suggesting as so i won't do most of this volumes i will just keep dot slash dot slash dot app to um I'll map it with src slash so port will be this and uh, this I can actually use it so I'll just create a dot env file and I'll paste it here so I don't want the environment the ports volumes depends on DB yeah so now i'll just have a mongo db so i'll just have an image container name is going to be db so db data ports and this will have a restart always similarly with strapi is going to be restart always and that depends on so env file is going to be dot slash dot env yeah so this is all correct and uh, i will be using nginx so i'll it is somewhat good that we use nginx so that we directly don't expose our uh, file instead of doing like this i will have a build and then inside build i'll have a context mm, it's going to be inside the dot docker slash nginx slash docker file and the container name is going to be nginx and this will also be a restart always and ports i'll give it at port 80 and then i will give a depends on it depends on the strap pi yeah then i'll just declare the volumes here so it will be data and it will be dot app yeah so uh, i'll just have an app so that will be somewhat easy instead of dot app uh, so yeah this is our initial setup so after this we should create a docker file so that is inside the docker nginx docker file so from the base image is going to be nginx nginx and it's just going to be the stable alpine so this will work so i'll just remove the nginx 
spawn free default cons yeah so i am just removing the existing cons and uh, i am going to add a dot slash conf cons slash nginx dot conf into the etc nginx cons etc nginx so it's going to be con free and in nginx cons not default cons nginx nginx dot cons and now i'll just run a simple command so that command is going to be of uh, nginx nginx hyphen debug yeah so this is the command so yeah into nginx con free and then nginx dot com yeah so this is correct so now this file we should create so yeah let's create that file so that's just the uh, nginx con so a new file conf con slash nginx dot con cons so here it will be a server key so inside the server key it will listen at the li so these are and all okay so and now li listen at any port and uh, let us give it a location proxy pass instead of localhost is trabi it's running on port 1337 so these things can be there but this should be more than enough for the nginx cons and uh, yeah and so let's go to this so database client is going to be so yeah now the env file so this is most important one so database client is going to be mongo and the database host is going to be database host is going to be mongodb and the port is going to be that and uh, next is username password so database underscore username so that i will give it as admin and database password is also going to be admin so all the host port username password and i'll give it a name so database name is going to be strappy so that is a good one next for strappy you need to have a jwt underscore secret so that is going to be a secret and admin underscore jwt secret that should be something different so uh uh secret face okay so this one is good and now credentials for mongodb so so it's going to be mongo underscore init root username that's going to be admin init your password is also going to be that and regarding the node in env we can leave it as such that's not going to cause such a harm you can you can add the node env is equal to development so that is that is as per your stuff so yeah so now let me just uh, and uh, for um, this i need to pass the env file so that's going to be dot slash dot env um yeah everything seems to be good and now i'm having my docker 
desktop install so you can install that and you need to have docker running so if you hit docker ps there should not be any errors so now docker compose up dash dash build so this will build so version must be a string okay so let me change that so actually that doesn't even matter so strap you okay so so this should be mongodb so some errors are coming up so now let us see whether it's building or not okay so it's started building so if there's any error in between or once it's completed we'll get back to you so yeah guys so after about five to six minutes the service is up and running so let us go to control l let us just type localhost so okay so now nginx is working but our strapi has not started so strapi creating files so it is working so it is installing dependencies okay so yeah let us see so strapi is still running so yeah let us give it some more time here i saw some block control shift so docker log yeah so it is installing so it is setting up a new directory srv app but did i give it src app okay okay so it is installing dependencies so yeah once this is done we'll again get back to you yeah guys so after so much time about five to six minutes the build has got and the logs is running so it has built everything completely so now if i hit reload mode okay so yes our strappy app has been created and uh, we didn't even code anything we just used a simple docker file and uh, docker compose file two three files to just create everything yeah so now let me give it some credentials i'll just have both as admin so admin at fake.com so so it just requires you to like uh, let's get started so yeah our first user has been created and now and now yeah we are into the strapi dashboard directly so hit curl so i'm going to just give it a post so continue so i'll just give it a title so add another one so rich text field content so i'll hit finish so save so it is reloading the server so just give it a second so yeah it is working so let us go to the posts and let me add a new one so title my first post so i'll just give it a bold of hello world title h1 so so hello my first post so if i hit save and hit publish yeah it is published 
and uh, now if I again go back and to new and uh, let's go to API strap API blog contents a new way to manage contents so hit save hit publish so this is running on both sides and you can see everything so if i clear the terminal and now if i type http and then it is 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 slash posts okay so i type curl so it is showing forbidden error so like it is able to fetch this but it doesn't have the required permissions so we go to roles and we just click in the public and uh, wait it for load yeah so application content manager so these are all the various types so just for application i'll just give find so it can get find post and find one and uh, that's all i'm gonna give so only these two so if i hit save role updated so and uh, now if i go to my terminal and if i type oh i'm getting all the contents see stripe block contents everything so if i just want a single id i just take this and i just pass it the id so i get only the first object the id for this is both are same so if i give if i get some other thing i get error so it's an internal server error but you get the idea right so it's pretty much easy to build content like you can have your entire block contents over here on the back end and uh, it is pretty much strong it has so of so much of user support you can actually create so much users share all the credentials so like yeah this is just a very short video of how you can use strap ai on the go on the server so yeah this is pretty much it from my side if you want a detailed tutorial on how to use strappy so please comment down or if you want any integrations of strap ai with any, any other front end framework like for example this can be your cms and you can have another react app or a nextjs app for your front end which just calls two three methods or two three urls and you can also manage these permissions here like if you want only those apps to get these two or they can also create so you can obviously have a create method so that is actually a post so yeah there are so much flexibilities which you can do and i'm just brushing the top of the table because there are so much contents of here you can you can add medias so yeah there is a section to add medias and how do you configure them so all these things if you want to let me know in the comment section if you want a really do detailed tutorial yeah so this is just about strap ai and how effective it can be yeah so it's just a very simple tutorial on just how you can create a small post and curl it and query it so if you in the future want a very very big tutorial like a deep dive into strap ai then i can do it with the help of any front end frameworks or some sort of like that so please comment down or, or comment down what you want to see so let's see next time thank you